What's up, guys? It's June 25th, 2024. Halfway done with the year. Been a crazy year. Still chasing the dragon, trying to get that payout. Um, I like the upstep. Let's see what happens. Interesting setup here because three bars down. When we see three bars, we can expect to pull back, and we got the pullback. So, what's going to happen? Are we going to pull back? Are we going to test the high in reverse? Or is this a bull flag? I think. I'm a little more bearish. I'm leaning towards this being a target. That doesn't, Where? what are we trading at? We're only 35 points away from the, the low here. Um. Yeah, this is interesting though, because it's a lower high, but then we have three bear bars, so that could be strong enough for a second leg. This is strong enough for a second leg. Bulls rallied here. Bears are tr bears that shorted yesterday's low are trapped. They don't, Bears that shorted yesterday's low want to short higher and get out at 50%. Bulls that bought here want to buy more and get out at their 50%. So they're almost there. What about, what about, what the heck? So this is the 50% of this bar to that wick. Body to body. Okay, I don't know what I'm measuring now. So higher time frame, gap breakout breakout of the EMA. So this is the daily chart breakout, two sided trading or channeling very deep pull pullback first pullback to the EMA. You could say this is one entire channel breakout channel, or you could say this is a spike pullback channel. There's many ways to read this. This is a like one pullback like two first touch of the EMA after a strong trend. So there are many ways to read it 45 minute chart <laughs> kind of ignored it. But um, yeah, so that's that tall candle right there, making lower highs. Um, this is a really weak bear trend. Look at this sell off. A lot of big bear bars below the EMA, and they still bought it. We were pretty low down there. The price, oh, the price was pretty low, is what I mean. Now we're sitting up higher, so there could be a different reaction. We don't know. Bulls have the gap open above the daily, so I'm talking about this cap. This is a gap, right? The EMA to EMA gap. It's bullish, but we have a bearish price action. Okay, so now let's talk about it. Yesterday, bulls raced to su support. Bull, bull. <laughs> Yesterday, bulls raced to resistance, sell off sideways, and we sell off two, three legs lower. Excuse me, I'm mute the mic. All right. I'm trying not to cough or sniffle in the mic, <laughs> but I get allergies. All right, here we go. <laughs> Gap up, bar one, bad follow through, leg one, pull back leg two. We're breaking out below the EMA, two legs lower and reverse higher. Bar seven is breaking out above the EMA. I think there are more sellers than buyers up here. I was long for this. I got out um around here. I got short here and then got out and then I had to go get a haircut. So top step account is uh, red on the first day, a couple of trades, but I also had to, I traded, I, I barely traded today. And the easy moves came. I literally got my haircut right here, and it came back, and it was here, and I traded that and lost. So trading, haircut, looking at the markets again. That's funny. All right, so gap up, no continuation. Leg one, leg two, wedge bottom. This could be a this could be a bull flag, but it's a weak bull flag because bar one's a bear bar. Bar seven breaks out. Bulls are buying lows, and we go sideways for a while. It's a really long bull flag. Like one, pull back like two, pull back like three. Bears get the breakout below the EMA, but it fails. It looks like there are more buyers at the 50% level of bar seven. Bar seven's there. Bar 21, we race up. We trap the bears at shorter bar 19, including me. I was one of them. I was looking at this as some sort of like something like that. Lower high, retest, three bars, and a pullback just like the daily chart. Bulls get the breakout. So we have a leg one, deep pullback like two, deep pullback like three, and it fails. We get a wedge top. That was a bad line. Wedge top into the 45 minute EMA. 45 minute EMA is acting as uh, resistance. So this is kind of where we're looking at. So just how since we're since this EMA is above this EMA, it's bullish. This EMA is below that EMA. We're bearish. So just that's not me telling you to make trading decisions. That's me like using fractal thinking. Okay, if this EMA was below that EMA, I would be bearish 
when I'm reading this chart, I don't look at the 45 minute chart when I'm trading. I'm just looking at this chart. And on this chart, 45 minute charts and the 45 minute chart. So bear setups are valid. Wedge top sells off. Bears get a four leg, uh, leg one. Leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, pull back leg four. Really weak leg four. Um, bar 30, bar 40 was kind of climactic. Testing yesterday's low and it starts to reverse. I think bar 40 is a precursor to precursor to this leg because of the lot of buying at support, a lot of bullish price action prior to this sell. I'm not saying to buy this bar and get long, but I am saying to think about taking profits on short soon. I I didn't trade this, but I can pretty much guarantee I would have got trapped on this bar in a short because I would have waited for the tag here and it would have just went up and I would have to hit out. It happens to me a lot. I am trying to figure out when it makes sense to hold when it does when it makes sense to hit out early. Bar 44 is not an outside bar because we didn't break bar 43's low, but it does reverse higher. It has outside bar tendencies, but it's not an outside bar by the textbook definition. Outside bar sells off, it grabs orders, traps bears, and comes up. And then it bulls by the high, but they're buying range high, so bears want to sell here and bulls want to buy here. In this case, it was the start of a bullish swing around midday breakout breakout of this range here and then bar 48 breaks out of the ema so there are more buyers sitting down here more sellers at this ema more buyers on this line and then we get a bullish channel for an hour breakout with 48 immediate pullback this is also some sort of wedge very weak not a good one Maybe you get short on bar 49 thinking you're going to get a leg to move of this, but then you got to ask yourself about this bullish price action, this candle, not tagging yesterday's low. This this became a bull gap. Then they break out and they trend higher. We close above the EMA. So we have a leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three, and it's climactic at resistance. Bears get their leg one, pull back leg two. Around 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, there could be a, two, a deep two legged pullback. <clears throat> And deep is relative to volatility, so um, you know this this is deep, this is deep compared to this. But is this deep compared to I don't know something here? I don't know what am I going? What am I trying to say? This is deep in relation to this volatility. Ten point leg. Bulls didn't get a 10 point leg here. They got a 10 point leg here. I don't know where I'm going with that. Around 11 o'clock, there could be a two leg pullback. That's deep. 11 a.m. PST. It's in the Albrooks trade. And then Bulls get their final leg up. Push one, pull back, push two, pull back, push three. Wedge top. And the market goes sideways into the close. Pretty cool day. Um, I'm changing my game plan when it comes to prop firms. I'm going to talk more about that at the end of the month because I'm going to just, you know, stay focused. I'm going to stay doing this stuff. Although the one thing that is coming to something nice about all this is I'm going to I'm going to slam this blue book and try and finish everything while I have time to not um, I have more time because I'm not trading 24 seven with fake money. I'm just trying to pass real quick. I have to wait till I get paid to activate the accounts. If I do pass, I have to wait till I get paid. So I have time regardless. So I'm just going to try and uh, hound this blue book out and just it's been an ongoing process. I started in January. It's about to be the seventh month of the year. So. I want to be done with it and just kind of just not have to stare at the blue book for a month or two maybe i don't know that sounds bad i just want to like a little break and then i'll get back to studying and when i say a little break that doesn't i just mean break from the blue book i don't mean i'm still going to study the courses i get so if you guys want to know what type of courses i'm getting i'm studying al brooks course i'm studying ali's courses and that's it actually i only study brooks and ali i don't think they're you don't even just stick to those two Learn the Brooks way first because Ali's methods are based off of Al Brooks, but Ali, uh, his courses are like attack mode. Like I know he, he has something called attack mode. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it is, but like he will teach you to get in. I like it. I like his stuff. I like Ali. He's a cool guy. Check him out on YouTube. His name is quant systems on YouTube and you guys know Al Brooks and Al Brooks and, uh, Brad and Rose sometimes post on his YouTube. So you guys have a good one. Um, yeah, not live. So everyone knows where I'm at in my trading. I am trading a prop firm account again. Amazing. Same thing I was doing in the beginning of the year. It is what it is though, because 
if I can pull this off, I'll be actually making way more money than I expected. And I'll explain that at the end of the end of the month. End of um, I'll, I'll I'll explain that when I get when I go live, so I don't sound like I'm blowing air out up everyone's. Anyways, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.